Greetings. In this short video, I'm going to introduce some very simple, simple breathing exercises. Those of you who train in the Mudaquan are familiar with the Mupaldang Kum exercises, which are excellent, and by no means are these meant to replace those. These are a simpler set of exercises that focus on in using breath as a tool for internal expansion and contraction to work the core of the body, front, side, and back of your core. I also find these valuable for introducing uh, to people who haven't had a lot of experience in deep diaphragmatic breathing. So I hope you enjoy these breathing exercises. To begin, let's talk about the benefits that deep diaphragmatic breathing offers when practiced regularly. Obviously, it oxygenates trillions of cells in your body on a deeper level, so you get more oxygenation in all the cells in your body. It eliminates toxins in your body by as much as 53%. It smooths out and helps the algorithms of your heart. So people who don't practice regular deep breathing and are stressed out a lot, if you uh, look at their heart rate, it's jagged, irregular lines. And very quickly, you can change that rhythm of your heart by thinking about something positive and doing deep belly breathing. If you do it well, your heart rate will turn into smooth, rolling waves. And that's profound as far as your body's ability to heal itself and function on a higher level. So it directs, directly affects the heart in a positive way. It also relieves stress and uh, can uh, help you with emotional resilience. So there's a lot of benefits from breathing. So let's begin. Start by relaxing your arms. It's very important to get a good stance. So we're gonna start, look at our feet and make sure they're hip width apart facing straight ahead. We're gonna soften our knees. We're gonna get our spine straight by pushing our hips forward. Best way to straighten your back is to get your hips forward. And obviously we want the top of our head and the base of our spine in line with heaven and earth. We're gonna overlap our hands, the middle of our palms over one another and we're gonna place those on the knot in your belt if you don't have a belt on. We're pressing on the Dan Jun, which is the bladder point. It's also the physical center of your body. It's right where the knot in your belt is when you put a belt on. It's about two finger widths below your navel on the center line. So we're gonna place our hands over the Dan Jun and we're gonna do some belly breathing here to warm up. So we're gonna inhale through the nose, exhale out the mouth. And the goal is to slow your breathing down, make it as smooth as possible. And on the inhales, expand as much as possible, get as much air in as possible. And when you exhale, squeeze all the air out. So we're going from full to empty. So bringing your mind where your hands are to your Danjun. Inhale and expand your belly out into your hands. Exhale, contract your belly away from your hands. We're trying to get zero movement in our chest and our shoulders and just have the breath happen down here. One more good one. Release your arms and do a natural breath.
Let's carry that deep diaphragmatic belly breathing into connecting that breath with some movement. So on the first breathing exercise, we're gonna use the internal expansion of our breath to open up the front side of our core. So always facilitate the movement by your breath. So my inhale is gonna open my arms, hips going forward a little bit. Palms opening, front side, you can even look up and open your throat muscles a little bit, but I'm expanding this by the breath. And then as you exhale. <sighs> contracting the front side. Inhale, expand. Exhale, contract. One more good one. And a resting breath. <sighs> Moving on to side breathing. So we're gonna bring our awareness to the lateral part of our core, oblique, lat, up in your armpit. And as we inhale, we're gonna open up our left side. So I'm doing mirror image. I'm bringing my right arm up. You can bring your left arm up. As we inhale, open up your left side. Sometimes a little wider stance is better for this. We're gonna keep our hips forward, no twisting. And the hips are gonna go sideways as we exhale. So I'm expanding and contracting the left side. Okay, we're gonna fill up that left side with air again as we bring our other hand up, inhale. Exhale, empty the left side out again. One last inhale, fill up that left side with air. And as you exhale, you're gonna release. Keep exhaling, 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 and draw your elbows together and squeeze your lats, all your lateral muscles as you press all that air out, and then go into a resting breath. Okay, so we'll bring our mind to the other side. Right arm up, inhale. Exhale, feet stay grounded. You can soften your knees a little bit, but as you release that air, nice round line with that right side of your body. Inhale, expand your right side again and bring your other hand up. I'm using my hand to get a little extra pull and a little length, extra lengthening as I exhale. One more big inhale, fill up your right side with air. And release it all the way. So now we'll bring our awareness to the back. As you know, in martial arts, we, there's a need to contract your upper limbs a lot, so this will support that as well as physically, externally stretch and open your upper back, as well as internally as you breathe in. So you're getting external and internal expansion of the thoracic upper back. So we'll come back to a natural stance. 
There's uh, four ways to open your back. By manipulating your body, you can twist your palms out like this. That'll open your back. You can contract your elbows. That opens up your back. You can roll your chin into your chest. That lengthens your back. The other way is bringing your knees into your chest. But we're not going to do that since we're standing. So again, by my inhale, I'm going to twist my palms, contract my elbows, and roll my chin into my chest and feel my upper back expand. Exhale, release. I like to alternate which arm goes on the top every time. One more set. Last one. and a resting breath. Love that one for my back. And we'll finish with a little lower back uh, abdomen breathing exercise, which we all know this is, uh, comes from the Mupa Dang Kung. A little wider stance. I like to have my feet straight ahead. Knees bent in line with my toes, hips forward, good energy on your heels. And we're going to expand our abdomen out as we inhale and draw our hands to our side. Nice and full. Now as you exhale, you're going to press your hands forward and the belly button is going to draw back to the spine. Common mistake on this one is the hips going back, which creates acute flexion of the lower back. We want to open the lower back. So oh, it's a little tricky, but if you practice, you can do it. Hips forward, hands forward, belly back. Like somebody punch you here, hips forward. So this is opening the lower back. So then I'm gonna relax, circle my hands, inhale, draw the energy in, full, and empty. Lower back breathing. One more good one. On this one, hold your breath. As you're holding your breath, move your, your belly around, massage your organs. And when you're ready, exhale all the air out. To finish, we'll go inhale, open your arms. And relax back to natural. One more resting breath. I always recommend after doing these breathing exercise, any breathing exercises, to take a moment and pause and close your eyes and just check in with how you're feeling. I'm feeling better. I hope you are too. Come sign me down.